Sharks have been important to the many cultures and people of Micronesia for thousands of years. We're always taught in our science classes how important sharks are because they're at the top of the oceanic food chain. That there weren't these giants at the top of the food chain that were keeping all the smaller things in check, then we would set the whole thing off, off kilter and uh, have more problems than we currently have. But today, shark populations are threatened by overfishing, caught mainly for their fins. When you see the numbers and you see the shark being kicked back off the boat without its fins, that can't help but have an impact. Each year, up to 73 million sharks are killed to supply the global fin trade, mainly to make shark fin soup, a popular delicacy in Asian countries. It is a very, a very cruel act and you know, they're, they're not planning on stopping it, so we should, we should be the ones to start helping to stop. We all believe that shark finning is bad. We all believe that sharks are important to our ecosystem, so what are we going to do about it? We couldn't believe this was happening, so in Saipan and Guam, it was us students who stood up to protect sharks. Thankfully, it was the kids that, that uh, protected <laughs> the legislation uh, against the number of the people that came down. All the senators got this email on their Blackberries, and when Senator Rory Respicio opened up the public hearing, he said, you know, kids crashed our Blackberries because we were getting so many emails. These are the guys who we need to convince to get what we need done. And to see that they're so open to what we have to say, willing to hear us when in a position where no one else would, it gives us kids a, a bigger, more respect for our politicians. Guam and Saipan banned the sale and trade of shark fin, joining Palau and Hawaii as some of the first Pacific islands to protect sharks. It felt so good to know that I was a part of uh, something that could change the island. With these first protections in place, the people of Micronesia have a bigger goal in mind, the first region-wide shark sanctuary. We're trying to make this chain across the Pacific, and we started out in one end with Palau and Hawaii and the other end, and we were trying to hook up Guam and Northern Marianas in the, in the middle, and now the whole bottom, we need to, to, to close in this circle, and we've got our uh, Republic of Marshall Islands on one side, and, and and the Federated States in the middle, and if we could get them, we'd have this huge, huge, huge swath of, of ocean protected. A regional shark sanctuary would prohibit fishing for sharks and ban the trade and sale of shark products. It would protect sharks in an area the size of the European Union. We all want to, again, uplift the quality of life for all our citizens of, uh, of our territories and island nations. Lift that quality of life, but then at the same time, uh, conserve the, uh, the natural resources. Without that foundation of, of the students and the leaders and um, everyone in the community working together, then of course it wouldn't have happened. Now, Micronesians are working together to care for their marine environment. They are working to protect their sharks. I think we're actually making a statement now as a, not just as one place or another, but as a region and as a kind of a uh, community. I am very proud that Pacific uh, leaders are standing up to the globe and saying, you can't come in here and trash our, our oceans and trash our species and leave us with the eco ecological damage. The sooner we can make this area of the world a, a, a sanctuary for, for sharks and for whales and for turtles and for the other endangered species of the world. The sooner we can try first stem the tide of destruction and turn this thing around. <laughs>